Hello. Hello. Hello, James. I was just only say it only once. Now pay attention. Okay, so uh, to be more serious, basically is okay. Is I understand it is if I'm right in showing you how to add a picture to the event, which I have done in the past. So this would be on the desktop. I can imagine this would be something similar on the app on the mobile phone if you're doing an creating an event on there or if it's on the desktop I think regarding for a PC or a Mac um, obviously I have a Mac so I'm afraid I don't have a PC okay let's get to the nitty-gritty now so basically for me I go up to top right the dirty uh, the dirty dozen next mission so now I'm looking at creating a an event not a category or channel all server settings but little icon here where it's got a little calendar and the plus that's creating an event uh, we click on the event again a tab or a box will, will come up and then from there this is just a, using dummy text this is I don't know for example like I have done in the past where and as well I'd imagine as well light as well um, Go on to this part here, add the location or link. Uh, so for me, I always tend to put Xbox Stroke uh, PlayStation. Okay, and now this is the part you ask me what to do, how to create a image. Obviously, put the events, what type of event it is that we're going to do, if it's going to be a serious thing or semi professional or whatever really uh, obviously got the date starting date the time as you well know um, okay this is a new thing event frequently does not repeat okay that'd be quite interesting another feature I've not seen description obviously that's self-explanatory now this is the important part so this is where you upload the images uh, and then obviously when you it's interesting because on the desktop the outlook or the um, what call they call it the breaking off point where it automatically goes into how can I explain it, into order um, obviously like the resolution the the format will be different from on the mobile and to a desktop but let's just keep it simple, let's not overcomplicate things. Uh, so it says recommend an image at least 800 by 800 wide, uh, which would be pixels, and 320 tall. So basically be the width would be 800 pixels, which is uh, on the screen, it would be measured as pixel size. Now, back in the days of print, it would be under millimeter or centimeter. Uh, obviously you're dealing with screen based things so that would be in pixel uh, by all means google it and probably explain it better than I'm trying to now so that's roughly 800 wide 320 okay so now I'm going to upload the cover image go onto the desktop you may have a file already saying images uh, so for me, I did one there. I actually got one off the internet and basically did the dirty dozen and then open. Obviously you got this part here where you got the portrait, you know, it really close up, but obviously now if, so this is the, was it the 800? So this would be the width, 800 pixel size, the width, this part here. And down here was it 320 pixel size, so that'd be 320 uh, tall. So now, if the image was already that size, uh, that means then I wouldn't have to move it around, sort of thing. So this is obviously above uh, 320 width, or sorry, not width, uh, tall. So it'd be 320 pixel size tall. So obviously that image is not so you then obviously fix what I call the safety margins if you like um, so if I per se put it there and I click apply what happens that cuts it off so uh, 
I'm going to edit it again, Ch uh, change image. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know, let's put this there as an example. Again, you know, uh, you can zoom in, zoom out. And then obviously this is the safety margins. So I'm going to sort of, uh, apply. It turns out like that. Well, I've changed my mind. Click on, if you like, or can remove the image. Then do it that way and start again and think, actually, you know what? I prefer the um, Dirty Dozen image. Open. And then that's it. And then obviously from there, I want it around here, between this, the safety margins, if you like, all the crop marks. And think, hey, that's not too bad. I can maybe zoom up. May have a bit more of a cinematic appearance or something. I, I don't know. But I think maybe around there, the composition sort of suits it between there. That's fine. Click Apply. And then obviously the other part then as you click on onto the next thing onto the review. Okay, let's see if we do a review. And this is just an uh, example. Okay, next. So then this will be looking like obviously it says the preview, so this will look like on the desktop and as well be very something similar on your mobile phone, whether it's Apple or Android. And that's it. Um if there's any questions anything or if I've maybe misunderstood by all means just text me on whatsapp okay mate take care bye